nice and easy uh, VLOOKUP creation here. So I'm going to type in VLOOKUP. What value do we want to look up? Look up the value in this cell. And then the table array, we go ahead and select our data. We've got two columns there, comma again. Excel is asking for the column index number. So which column contains the data that we want this formula to return, that we want this formula to display. And then finally, range lookup. This is the fourth argument with VLOOKUP, range lookup. So what does that mean? We usually set it to false or zero because we're looking for an exact match. And when we're looking up text, as we're doing now, that's what we need because we can guarantee the text Luna's name is going to appear in this table. But things get really interesting when we use the true mode approximate match. We're going to look at that in just a second. But let's go for zero or false for now. It's just our basic application of VLOOKUP hitting enter. And I can see 17 coming through there. So if I type in Betty now, what's going to happen? And I see 13 coming through there. But now there's a bigger challenge. We want to look up the grade classification in the classifications table for this grade. So over here, we've got our classifications table. And you can see um, each of these marks, each mark between 0 and 20 is going to fall into a particular class. So how would you do that? It's something people want to do all the time, particularly teachers. I've done this so many times over the years for teachers. Teachers have some numerical grades and they want to put them into classifications. That's exactly what we're doing now. What value do we want to look up? Well, that's going to be our numerical grade. We want to put that into a classification, comma. Then we need our table array. So we're going to make sure we select the whole table. Now, the important part at this point is the first column has to contain numerical values, and those numerical values are going to become lower bounds. More on that in a second. But the leftmost columns in the selection must contain single numbers. Those numbers become lower bounds. Comma, Excel is asking for the column index number. So which column in the selection contains the data we want to return? Well, we want to return the classification. It's not the first column. It's the second column in the selection. So we want a two in there. And then finally, this is where the magic happens. We don't want false or exact match. We want a one for true. Close the bracket and then hit enter. And we can see we've returned advance here. That seems to make sense because 13 falls between 10 and 15. And between 10 and 15, we want to return advance. But now let's take a second to understand what's happening around the boundaries here. So let's just overwrite the formula, put some values in and understand what's going on. Well, zero, zero returns must improve because it's equal to or more than the value on this row. Just as if I type in four, it's equal to or more than zero. So it's going to return must improve. But what if we go for five? Well, five is equal to or more than the value on the next row. So we've got into the basic area, we've returned basic. Then if we go nine, it's still in the same classification. 10 is going to tick over to the next classification. We're now on this row because we're greater than or equal to 10 and less than 15. And then if we go for 15, we're going to see we're now returning an expert doggy. So what this means is, and I've written out the classifications here, it's more than or equal to the value in this row and less than the value in the row below. This is VLOOKUP's secret mode. It's so useful when you want to classify numbers. As I said, I see teachers in particular wanting to do this all the time. They've got their numbers. They've got their numerical grades. They need to classify them. This is how to do it. VLOOKUP secret mode using approximate match one or true at the end there. It's Chris here. And if you enjoyed this video, I've got a special treat for you. We've got a full one hour session from our members Monday community. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up, put your email into the link below this video. We will email you some information about our fantastic members Monday community, but it's absolutely free. It's a one hour session. The link is in the video description below.